Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to talk about the terminal application or the command line application inside of your Mac. And this is a very useful and powerful way to basically type in some codes in this page to basically control your Mac on the back end. So things like the Finder, for example, are a nice visual way to get around your Mac, create folders. A lot of us know how to do things on here using Finder, using your visual representation on the Mac. But the terminal lets you go on the back end and change some things on your Mac that's not possible to do visually. But we're going to really simplify it and focus on some really useful things and just navigating the terminal. So let's go ahead and launch the terminal for the first time. So we start with a clean page and then I'll show you some useful commands here that you could explore and just about anything you could imagine on your Mac, you could Google it and find the right terminal code, like making the doc disappear or remotely signing into your computer. There are commands for that, that you could use terminal for. So let me go ahead and quit terminal and we'll use the finder to find our terminal. We want to go to application, the folder here on finder, and there should be a folder called utilities. Double click that and inside of utilities, there is an app called terminal. Go ahead and double click that and it will launch this terminal for you. So let me go ahead and minimize the finder and make the terminal window bigger. And before I show you what's going on here, let's go up here to shell and show inspector or command I here. And I'm gonna change the profile here. Go to profile and change how the terminal looks. So now let me close this and let me press command plus to make this a little bigger so you could see what I'm doing here. So when you launch terminal, you'll see the last time you logged into terminal, which was recently here for me. And you'll see this code. Basically it's gonna tell you the name of the computer and then it's gonna show you the home directory. So let me just show you what this is on Finder. Let me launch Finder here. And this right here is what this is showing. So you see this is exactly the same thing as this and this is what I'm looking at on the same page. I'm gonna show you how to create folders and files and how to navigate inside of terminal just like you would on Finder. But before I do that, let me just show you all the possible codes here inside of Finder. So press escape twice. If you got a little noise, just go ahead and press it twice again and then press Y for yes. And then these are all the different possibilities it's only showing you a few of them, but if you press enter here on the bottom, you could continue to press return to see all the possibilities of the short codes that you could put inside of your terminal. So this command line right here is going to give you all those options. So go ahead and explore this a little bit. I'm going to link in the description to my website where I'm gonna list all these for you. So it's a little bit easier to find exactly what you're looking for and a little better organized. Let's say when you're done looking at this, you could just go ahead and press delete and then you'll be back exactly to where you started. And a useful code here is if you type in clear and press return, it's gonna basically clear the page for you. Technically, if you scroll up, it's gonna be everything that you've looked on terminal, but this is a nice way to clear the terminal page here. So again, I'm back to the home directory. So now I could show you some useful commands like creating folders and files here. So the very first command I wanna show you is ls. So type in ls and press enter. And what this command does, it lets you look inside of a folder here. So right now I'm inside the home directory. So that's where I could see right here, my name here with the dollar sign. And when I press LS, it shows you all the directories, all the folders inside of that. So let me show you on the finder, the same exact thing. So on the finder window, again, I'm here, I selected this. That's the exact same thing that you see here on terminal. And LS basically shows you all these. So you could see application, creative cloud, desktop, in the exact same order that you see them here. And then after I press enter, it took me to the next line and it's ready for the next command. So let's go ahead and use the next command to create a folder here. So the way to do that is to type in mkdir, so make a directory, press spacebar, and the name of the folder that you want to create. So I'll name this folder one and then I'll press enter. And now to double check that this took place, let me go to the visual finder window. And as you could see here, it created folder one. Let me go ahead and delete this on finder here. So I could show you, let me just put this on the side so you could see it get created in real time here. So I'll type MKDIR 
folder one enter and as you could see right there in real time it created a for me so now that we have this folder that we created with terminal let's look inside of that so to do that we'll put cd and then the name of the folder so folder one enter and now we're inside of the folder one so look at the file structure here so here we were on the home page now we change it that we're inside of the folder one inside of the home page now that we're inside of that folder let's create an actual file not a folder but an actual file inside of that folder so in order to create a file there's a command called touch just spelled regular touch here after touch spacebar and then type in the name of the file so if you want to call this just test.html for example we could do that press enter and it's created that for us let's do a couple more here touch test.php touch test.css for example enter so now i created three different files so now the remember that ls the one that lets us look inside of the directory or inside of a folder let's go ahead and press ls press enter and as you could see it's showing me the three different files inside of that folder and here i could go ahead and go to my finder double click folder one and i should see three different files here created so I just cleared the page one more time so we start here from a blank slate but I want to show you how to delete one of the files that we created so again I'm still inside of folder one inside of my home directory here but I want to go ahead and delete this so the command for that is rm and then the name of the file so test.php now before I press enter I gotta let you know there's no garbage can here so inside a terminal when you delete a file it's gone there's no way to get it back so make sure you know what you're doing here before you do this inside a terminal let me press enter and as you could see right here on finder that file just disappeared so again if i wanted to make it again touch test.php enter and i could create it again obviously it's easy to create here because it's just a blank document here but if i deleted the real thing it would have been a problem if i didn't mean to do it so now let me type in ls to look inside and then all those three are back so again if i put rm test.php delete it and then type in ls again to see the directory and the files inside of it you could see the one disappeared i'm just keeping the finder window open here so you could see that visual representation of what's going on inside of the terminal so i just typed in cd again cd usually just brings you back to the root directory here so again it's going to bring me back to this home folder where i have all these folders here including folder one that i created that's just by typing in cd anytime and then if i type in ls you can see all the folders inside of that root directory again so next command we want to look at is pwd go ahead and press enter and this one basically shows you what directory you're at so if you get confused or you're not sure what directory you moved yourself to and if this is not clear over here you could do pwd to see the name of the directory you're in this is basically the folder structure here if you're thinking of it in the finder view so let's say again cd we want to dive into a different directory and this time let's just go to desktop so now i'm on my desktop that's over here so again in finder let me just go to desktop so you can see what's going on over here and again let's say make a directory called test this time this should create a folder called test on our desktop and as you can see it did exactly that so next let's say we wanted to delete a folder so this folder test that i created here on my desktop let's say we wanted to delete it so rm was the way to delete and test was the name of this folder here so if i press enter i'm going to get an error message basically saying that this is a directory so the rm command is to delete individual files not an entire folder or directory so how do we delete that folder rm space then the minus sign then r again space and then the name of the folder so this is the way you delete an entire folder now if i press delete that folder test that was just right here just disappeared again just like the files if you delete a folder or a directory here it will vanish it won't be in the garbage can to recover and now we could just type in clear to clear the window and since i'm in the desktop there is an easy way to get the root directory and that's by pressing cd space dot dot 
and then press enter and it'll bring you back to the root directory this is a nice command this dot dot is basically an invisible command here that usually brings you back to the root directory and then I could see what's in the root directory with ls again I'm just showing you some of these couple times to review some of the most important codes here so I cleared the window here but this time I want to create a file and show you how to edit that file actually so let's go ahead and create a file I'm under desktop here so it's already going to create on my desktop and touch was the command to create a file and I'll just call this edit press enter and now there's a file called edit here so in order to open that file I just have to type in open space edit and that's the name of the file if I press enter it's going to open that in just my text editor here I just have text edit the default Mac app here and then you could start to type any command you want here and basically do any type of formatting and then go ahead and save it here and that will save that file so now that text file has been edited so if I open it that's going to be saved to that file that I did all using terminal and I could actually edit it inside a terminal so the code for that is nano and then the name of the file again I want to make sure I'm in the right directory which is desktop I am I press enter here and now I'm inside of that file inside of terminal so I have all these new codes here that I could play with to basically make changes to this file this one's a little more advanced here so if you really modify a text file here or any type of a code file I prefer to use a text editor and not the terminal but this is the way where you could jump into a file and actually edit it right inside a terminal so I'm going to exit out of here and I'll press no and let's go ahead and exit desktop cd enter should get you back into the root directory here and again what I showed you in the very beginning was pressing escape twice and then pressing it again if it doesn't work and then you should get this display press y and then you will see all the different commands and there is more on the bottom so if you press return here or enter you'll see all the different commands including some of the ones I showed you here like ls touch and more but there is a lot more commands here that you could actually explore on your own and when you're done looking at these commands go ahead and press delete and then go ahead and clear this out and again for more advanced commands you could go ahead and google some of the things that you could do with your Mac there are some powerful commands that are much longer than just navigating around the terminal around the back end of your Mac but this is a beginner's tutorial so I just wanted to give you a brief description of what a terminal is I think everyone that has a Mac should have a little bit of understanding so it doesn't become this really scary place where you think you could break your computer although some advanced codes I don't recommend you just typing in any code here there are some things that could happen to your computer that are irreversible but I hope you found this terminal video useful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily tech videos and I'll catch you on the next video thank you so much for watching this video